Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channels Tapa Olho Azul and Super Academic and today we'll keep them keep the reading of my book Phenomena. I'll put the cover right over here so you can appreciate what I'm reading. Today we're going to the chapter five. So uh, last chapter uh, Joseph had gone to the cemetery where his brother is buried and then he got a very unusual phenomena, uh, phenomenon when uh, several spirits came to to his uh, in to him and he suffered um, some kind of a nervo nervous thing where, where he could listen a lot of spirits screaming so let's keep this Chapter 5 My heart was beating fast when I woke up in the following morning. I really hadn't had a good night of sleep, so I jumped out of my bed just as the alarm clock went off, as if it was as an Indian Farkir's bed. I put on my clothes I had already picked uh, them one month ago. I grabbed a very special notebook that said Harvard on the cover. I got it from the bookstore on campus. I looked at myself in the mirror and then left the bedroom. When I got in the kitchen... Good morning, Joe. Hi, Mom. Do you want to eat something? I don't feel like eating, Mom. I wouldn't really be able to swallow anything th that morning. I would not get to swallow anything. Then my father came into the kitchen. Good morning, Joseph. Have you already decided what extra subjects we will sign up uh, for? No, Dad. I think I'll still have a lot of time before I have to make that decision. I want what I really, what I really want to do right now is to start taking classes. Where is Anne? Oh, where are you waiting for her? She only has classes in the morning three times a week. She will stay in bed a little longer and meet up with Wayne later on. She could at least have told me. I'm leaving then. I stood up and said goodbye to Dan, but before I left, Joseph? Yes, Dad. He looked straight into my eyes, it was very unusual for him to do that in the morning. Normally he would be reading the newspaper. Good luck. Mom looked at me and smiled. Then I thanked it and left. I would never admit that to my father, but it generated a deep feeling of peacefulness in my heart, which was very important for someone who was just starting a new day. And that was my first day at Harvard too. I sat in the first row at the elementary elementary physics 101 class. It was funny, all my school friends that went to college had run out, run away from matters as physics or mathematics at the beginning of their courses, but my curiosity for paranormal phenomena had made me wish, wish to know, the more quickly possible, the foundations of material life, so later on, later on I could clearly understand simple things, such as seeing Donnie on the TV screen, which seems very clear to me nowadays. I watched the kind of people that were coming into, into, into the room. I wondered how many of them really knew what they were doing in that room. Perhaps two of them did. I couldn't help noticing the fact that uh, that group was a little poor as far as the number of hot girls there was, that was there. But I tried to keep that thought away from my mind, at least for the time being. That class was useful for many different programs. Therefore, I was hoping to see a very full class, yet not as many people sign up for it 
as I imagined they would. It seemed that people ran away from physics, physics in college too. In college also, too. Someone patted me, patted me on the shoulder. I turned around to see who it was, and got very happy to see that it was Eddie. You finally got in, and you knew Mr. Tamerson. I smiled. Hi, Eddie. It's good to see a familiar face. Everyone here seems to seems so strange to me. Check it out that guy over there. I pointed to a man in the back of the classroom. He got here before I did and he's been like that ever since. The student was deeply asleep. That's Robert Trigger. This is the third time around he takes 101. In my opinion he is waiting to decide what he actually wants to major in. We both laugh. I just came here to issue good luck. You don't know this professor, but he is a jolly good fellow too. Though. Uh, jolly good fellow too. Though. He might ask you what your major is. And probably if you say parapsychology, he'll say, Have you ever seen a ghost? Then you decide how to answer that. How did you reply? I said I hadn't decided that yet. <laughs> and what did he say then? Oh him, he said, poetry is the class filled with the hot girls. <laughs> that got me a little embarrassed, but I looked at him and wondered what that, whether the lack of pretty girls in that class was a permanent pattern. Then he said, relax, I was kidding. We laughed again only longer this time around. Listen, I got to go to the class too. I'll catch you later, okay? I have to list of I have the list of lectures of this month and I want you to see it. There are two German parapsychologists that say they were able to register a phenomenon. Of what kind? I don't know. I only have their names and the dates. The rest is gossip. All right, I'll check with you later. Eddie said goodbye and left. He patted Robert Trigger on his way out, but he didn't seem to feel a thing. I turned around and sat down again. It was already eight o'clock, and the professor would be arriving at any time. Yet Eddie's visit had planted another thought in my mind. I'll try to register paranormal phenomena I would try to register paranormal phenomena that was something that really interested me as I had predicted the university would be the doorway through which I'd gain full understanding of those phenomena uh, I experienced Eddie's visit had also relaxed me I knew that I had friends back me up and now I had Mr. Mr. Horatio Hanemar, elementary, elementary, elementary Physics 101. Welcome to the wonderful world of electricity and gravity, among others, wonders of nature. Somebody please wake Mr. Trigger up. Either he passed this time around or I quit. <laughs> he had a great sense of humor. His class would not be a torture at all. Ed was right. Let us begin with the simple topic in physics, kinematics. Why do things move? I could hardly wait for my other five classes. This is the end of chapter 5. I hope you have enjoyed the reading. And I see you next time with the continuing of the reading of this book. Please subscribe to both channels, give likes, subscribe, subscribe, like, comments and share the video. Bye-bye.